At this point I have painted the brass discs. I put about uh, well, three or four coats of good old Croylon, the gloss black, on, on the uh, discs. Uh, the discs are still glued to this piece of plexiglass. It's just a nice way of handling them. So the next step is to take these off of here, uh, flip them over, and run them across some sandpaper. Now I noticed after I cleaned up after the etching, I cleaned all the toner off. Some of the area that's supposed to be nice and bright brass that had the mask on uh, were a little bit pitted and tarnished. So I'm kind of disappointed with that. Uh, before I sprayed them black, I took a small artist brush and I put a little bit of uh, armor seal in there just to try to keep that black color from getting down into the pitted area of what should be bright brass. So it will be interesting to see how these, uh, how these clean up. In fact, you can see on some of these my armor seal may not have been completely dry, but that's okay. That's, that's all going to come off when these get sanded down. You also see I uh, spray painted the hinges. They were uh, flat black, and I decided to go with the glossy black for the hinges. And yeah, there are 30 hinges. Each hinge has six screws. Do the math. There's one boatload of screws here. So I stuck all the screws into a little piece of styrofoam and shot them with a little black paint as well. That's the progress. Okay, fast forward about 20 hours since we painted these brass discs. Uh, I've taken them off the plastic that I had them glued onto and I took the blue masking tape off the back of them. And I made a little holder because I found it was really hard to hold these things and sand them. So what I do is I drop this into the holder and then I come over here and this is the back side now and I hit it with some 120 grit paper and you can see that really roughs up the back side and the whole purpose here is to flatten it out and more importantly give the epoxy glue a rough surface to bite into. Okay and then the last the fun part you put these in right side right side up and I've got some 800 grit paper here and I've got some 400 grit paper and I just wet it down, clean it up, put it on my little piece of glass here, flip this over, rub, 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 until magically the brass uh, high spots appear and uh, as you can see I think they are looking pretty good. They're not perfect, but uh, you know, this one right here you can see has some issues. Here you can see a spot where the uh, ferrochloride started to bite through the, the uh, mask. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with them. And I'm going to use them, and uh, I think it's all going to be good. So I start out with the 400 grit paper, and then uh, after I can pretty much see the brass clearer, uh, I put the 800 grit paper on here and that just polishes it up, gives it, uh, takes out some of the little scratch marks that are in here. You can still see some scratch marks, but uh, it helps polish them up. And uh, that's it for now.